His kidneys are shutting down due to direct toxicity to the proximal tubular epithelium. Proof that my brilliant idea of giving him amphotericin is killing him. Well, it wasn't a complete waste of time. His reaction shows that you don't need to clean under your sink. It wasn't aspergillus. And blood culture show he was negative for rat bite fever. There's still plenty of other cool pneumonias. Tested negative for Moraxella, Nocardia, Cryptococcus. He has a low titer for chlamydia antibodies, maybe. No, no, his chest x-ray is all wrong for chlamydial pneumonia. But the titer points to He had to an STD last year. That explains the titer. He has low sodium. Maybe it's Legionella. No, his antigen is negative. Well, that all sucks. Maybe we were right to begin with. His problems are all caused by DIC precipitated by falling off my roof. DIC wouldn't cause a fever this high. See, my lab dog agrees with me. How high? Two hours ago, it was 103 with acetaminophen. What about on St. Aubin's Day? Only temperature I'm interested in right now is his temperature right now. No te preocupes. Descansa. Yo voy a trabajar por ti esta noche. Open up. Yo te dije que no, y se acabó. Okay, let me clarify. Open up and keep it open. ¿Qué? ¿Me vas a parar? Una noche. Ya. Okay. Under your tongue. You're using your left hand. Right one hurt? No, I feel better. But it really doesn't hurt, or you just figure if you say no, you'll get out of the hospital soon? It doesn't hurt. I feel good. You don't smell too hot. <laughs> Your hand is starting to rot. Why are we here? We are talking about cutting off a kid's hand. Yes, we're talking about cutting it off, not subdividing it and putting in condos. It's not a legal issue. Are you being intentionally dense? Huh? I think it's premature. I've heard enough. What? She says one word and you take her side. You should at least wait until she actually gives a medical reason. Otherwise, I might take it personally. Shut up. If I were to somehow find out that you two are in disagreement over the proper medical course of action, it could make it awkward for my client in court, my client being the two of you. So guys, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we pick this conversation up in half an hour, okay? All of his symptoms are caused by his underlying problem and the medicine we gave what him. What underlying problem? You have no idea what the underlying problem is. You're the diagnostician. Fine. It's all my fault. Does that make you feel better? His hand still has an arterial pulse. His hand is a cesspool and the crap is spreading. You are being pretty aggressive about destroying a man's livelihood. Don't give a damn about his livelihood. He loses that hand, he loses his job. All of his jobs. He's not like us. Can't work as a cripple? He loses his home, his kid brother drops out. An American dream destroyed. Very sad, very emotional. Not one medical fact in the whole pathetic tale. You have lost perspective, Cuddy. You've stopped looking at this as a doctor. You're acting like someone who shoved somebody off their roof. You want to make things right? Too bad. Nothing's ever right. I am happy to report that we're now so in sync, we're actually wearing each other's underwear. Chop, chop time. Is this true? No. I'm lying. Stupid to do it with her in the room, I guess. This is a big decision. We made it. We should convene a meeting of the ethics committee. No! Look, she is making a medical decision based on never wanting to feel regret. You're making a legal decision based on wanting me to be wrong. Greg, you have a history of aggressive- You wanted superficial agreement. You wanted everybody's asses covered. You got it. Now, can I do the surgery? Pretty, pretty please. Lisa. Are you sure you're okay with this? I should be the one to tell the family.